Hello everyone and welcome on today's stream. My name is Magdalena Czarnecka and I'm a product manager at 11-bit studios and I'm here today with very special guest Robert. Are you there? Yes, hi, my name is uh, Robert Butkiewicz and I'm a level designer at Fools Theory, the developer behind the Taumaturge. And the Taumaturge is exact reason why we are here today. You should already seen the quest trailer that we revered earlier, so if you didn't, just go and watch it. But if you want, just stay with us and see what we prepared for you today. Okay, without further ado, let's start the game. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay, Robert, we have a little problem here because this is Victor's, our main protagonist, uh, default look. And I don't really like default. So why don't you tell us where are we, what our quest will be about, and I will just go quickly change our hair. All right, sure. So we are in the neighborhood of Pavonski right now, which is a historic cemetery in Warsaw. And um, we are here in the middle of a quest uh, to dust that you shall return. Um, it's a quest in which we help a Russian courtier named uh, Svetlana, who's trying to covertly leave Warsaw because uh, the Ochrana are after her. The Ochrana are Russian um, political slash secret police. And due to some unfortunate events, um, she made enemies in high places and now they're after her. So. Uh, Victor, wanting some information out of her, has to help her get out of the city. And to do that, uh, we will be employing the help of our, or the connections at least, of our friend Abauritsu, who is a criminal kingpin in Warsaw. So we will need the help of professional smugglers to get her out, out basically. But yeah, time for a quick pit stop at the barbers first. Yeah. All right. Let's change our hair. Mm -hmm. Come in. Please sit This is one of the uh, barbers yes. that's available to a visit in Warsaw. Yeah. I have my favorite, uh, I must say. Uh, of course, thick mustache is uh, my thing. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? Yep. Yeah, I, I think do. Victor looks much more fierce now in that mustache. <laughs> yeah. Years of practice. My the beard is much friendlier. Satisfied. So maybe this will be uh, a useful thing, actually, since we're going to be dealing with organized crime to look, you know, uh, more menacing. <laughs> All right, let's get a tram to downtown Warsaw, right? Yeah, this is this is it. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get back to questing. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to southern submission. Śródmieście. Oh, my God, it's so mouthful. Śródmieście. Śródmieście. Polish is very funny language. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, here we are. Okay, okay let's, let's, let's get to the go. London bar. It's the headquarters of Aboritz's gang, the Shivs. Name comes from, obviously, a, a shank, right? Since they were street muggers to start with. Yeah, and uh, Aboritz is uh, Victor's friend. They go away back. If you follow us, you can uh, already know what's the history between those two. But if not, you will just have to play the game to figure out. Okay, this is Abaritz's den, Abaritz's bar. So let's get to Here him. Uh, I think some shady business is going on here. But, well, he's a gangster, like you said, so... It just stuck. Yeah, with engaging him. in loan sharking. Of course. <laughs> a few days. You see this guy? Mr. Gages, I'll pay it back, I swear. They're running tomorrow at Mokoto Freight Track. I'll win. Do you? We had one as long as you paid your dues. I'm begging you. Quit your bawling. You'll get tear stains on my rug. It's Persian. <sighs> Expensive. You look tired. Want a coffee? Mm -hmm. that's, the, what, that's what real RPGs are about. Choices. Do you want a coffee? Or do you, or, uh, or what, Robert? What should we do? <laughs> yeah, I get a coffee. It's still pretty early. Sure. Always glad for a coffee. In the game, at least. Can I right? interrupt <laughs> you for a second? I'm in a rush. 
I'm just sorting something out with this cow face here who doesn't pay on time. Where should we start? Teeth or knees? Please, don't let him. I only owe 12 rubles. All right, uh, you should see this prompt here says that Abaurizu will remember this. This is quite important because there are many, many, many endings to, uh, to this game. So how you approach people, how do you talk to them will also have consequences, of course, in the course of the story and in the endings. So keep your eyes open to those, to those prompts. Uh, all right, I don't, I won't bother about it. So let him do his business. You'll make it up to me, every kopieka. Yes, I, I will pay though. Thank you, Mr. Nijit. We're not saying goodbye yet. The boys will take you to stage two of the <clears throat> chat. Get him out of here. I don't envy the guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, how'd you take it? Black or cream and sugar? Black, strong, no sugar. Victor is a predefined character, of course, so you won't always get a choice. <laughs> There's a certain woman who'd like to disappear from Warsaw. Conventional transportation isn't an option. What exactly do you mean by disappear? Okay, back into business. Uh, okay, let's explain what we had in I'm mind. for safe and discreet transportation to Vienna. On the double quick. Sadly, the ships can't help. That's not our line. Passport policy is a nightmare, and smuggling will get you the news. Not worth it. But I know a man, Javier... Javier something or other. Find... Um, although, finding him might be tricky. Mm, okay. Let's ask where we you can know find where I him. Can find him. Mm -hmm. Thank the gods of chaos that you've got a great buddy like me. There are rumors going around that Javier's staying on one of the boats on the river. It's called the Malenka. I'd start there. Thanks. I'll head off. Not so fast. Have you been to Povishla since you got back right, from your travels? Right, So do you want to maybe tell us a little bit about Povishla? At least today, maybe I can uh, talk about the one um, in the game. So the one in the game... Um, that's kind of the worst part of Warsaw you can go to. Like, you, you'd sooner get your teeth kicked in than have somebody help you out. So in this case, find Javier, right? Now we're probably going to find trouble there. But Magda, what is Povishla like today? Uh, Povishla right now is quite posh district in Warsaw. Uh, the, like, the nicest apartment, the nicest bars, nicest restaurant are actually in Povishla or near Povishla. So, yeah, it's completely different than to what it's how it's represented in the yeah. game. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, but like we said, this is like the, in the middle of the quest. This is like the middle of the act one. So we already been to Povishna in the game. So we can say uh, exactly that. Yes, as it happens. A rather unique neighborhood. Fishermen, porters and craftsmen all trying to make ends meet. Is that all you've noticed? More or less. Stuff goes on there that make your blood curdle. The locals can't stand outsiders and protect their own. Don't go around grilling random people. Duly noted. Thanks. I can handle it. Uh, unique is one way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So we have uh, a lead where we should go. Yeah, I think we can get out of here now. Let's get us a... Uh, carriage, or maybe a tram, whichever is faster. Oh, this little part here, maybe we can stop for a second for a history lesson. So um, up until the start of the 20th century, Warsaw didn't really have that many uh, modern amenities, such as um, public transportation using trams or um, sewage, actually. Uh, so in the that's actually the start of the 20th century is when uh, the sewer system in Warsaw got put in place in a large part of the city anyway. So that was uh, because the Tsar was visiting, so they wanted to show off the city as, you know, a modern um, jewel in uh, the empire, right? So that's what these guys here are doing. They're laying down the tram tracks, and in a different part uh, you can, uh, of the city you can find them, um, you know, basically 
putting sewer, sewer, sewer pipes in. Yeah, I think you guys did amazing job, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, when making this game because there's a lot of more of historical things, historical uh, places and stuff like that in the in the game. So yeah, you did your homework. Thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. Okay, so we are going to infamous Povishna. Uh, Change of scenery, yeah. Yeah, much more mud. Okay. Very little cobblestones, yeah. Yeah. It's all just uh, dirt roads here, unfortunately, for Victor's boots. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's uh, close to the riverbank, which make it uh, like the trade district uh, of Warsaw. So yeah. here, you can see one of the many collectibles that you can find during your playthrough. Uh, well, there are different kinds, uh, but each one of them will give you a bit of like background about the people, about the times uh, that the people live in this game, and yeah, stuff stuff like that. Robert, can you add something here? And I will just sure. This is well, uh, a lot of these. Um, so this one that we picked up here. Uh, where Victor went to buy a cigar. I can read it if you like. Sometimes it's good to obscure your view with a cloud of smoke. There is nothing worth looking at here anyway. So if we continue, uh, we, we get a little sketch that Victor makes in his notebook. So a lot of these um, collectibles are exactly that, like world building uh, flavor pieces. And uh, there is a, you know, a little explanation of what's going on here. So. Since Povishla, like you said, it's a district right by the river, there is a port there. So a lot of imported goods can be found here, including tobacco from the Americas, right? So let's remember that this is the beginning of the 20th century. So a lot of those goods can be found pretty easy in the modern life, but there was super special back then. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Others can be much more common, such as the next one we're about to see here uh, in yeah. the next building. <laughs> Very regional. So we have a, a, a Piero Garnia, which is basically like a, a restaurant, or this one isn't a restaurant, it's more like a bar or a cafeteria that serves pierogi. What's your favorite kind? Yeah, yeah, dumplings, Polish dumplings or oh, Slavic dumplings. I pretty much like all of them, uh, but I think my favorite is with sauerkraut and mushrooms. Uh, and yours? Uh, I'd, I'd say I'd go for like maybe lentils, but I, I know that one's fancier ones but like maybe salmon or broccoli are also good I like them a lot mm -hmm. yeah everything you stuff uh, in pierog is good let mm, just agree absolutely. on that <laughs> <laughs> uh, I immediately felt warmth spreading through my body I want to take a nap and wake up to the view of freshly fired platter in front of me yep you and me both Yeah, Victor's a tough guy, being able to eat that many pierogi. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's get back to business. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, there's some commotion here. Uh, I think the pier is closed. There's a lot of uh, policemen here. Uh, so let's find out why we cannot enter. Excuse me, officer. What do you mean, not allowed? Sergeant Kadash, folks gotta work there. Feed their families. We're conducting an operation. More like farting around. My taxpayer rubles are paying for you to chow down on herring. Let me through to the war. And what are you here for? All right, we have a lot of options here because like, all RPGs, all good RPGs. We have a lot of branching in the quest. So this is one of the special options that we can choose, but we will get back to it uh, later on. Uh, here with the star, you have the option because you find something earlier that enable this option. But I don't want, you know, to just show the stolen Okrana ID. Maybe we should save it for uh, some other time. Sure. So, for the sake of this playthrough, I would just go with the most uh, default option. What's going on here? What's going on? Incompetence. 
The pigs had a weapons transport up and vanish on them, and now they're quaking in their boots. You watch your mouth. Nobody's getting in until we're through. Yeah, that's something that actually happened a number of times. It's not a, um, it's it's not something we actually made up, but a lot of um, revolutionary factions uh, and others did actually raid uh, Imperial weapon transports and steal them. This is actually even something that's mentioned earlier at the start of the game, that there was a certain transport of, uh, I believe it was TNT and pomade that was uh, robbed. <laughs> so this is something that we lifted right out of history. Okay, uh, I think we'll get nowhere right now. So tip for you guys, it's sometimes it's good to leave the conversation and maybe explore a bit because that might open other options in the dialogues. So now I will do my favorite thing in this game. <laughs> All right, so the sparking things are actually something that I see because Victor is a Taumaturge and I'm using my, let's say, superpowers. Uh, but Robert, can you explain a bit more what the Taumaturgy is about and how it works? Of course. So, thaumaturgy, um, I would say it's a special form of attunement to human emotion. It's supernatural. That's fairly obvious. But uh, how it works is that not only are thaumaturges more perceptible when it comes to reading people or pushing their buttons, they're also able, like you did right now, um, pick up on emotional traces that people have left on objects. So, if you just mm -hmm. maybe uh, pick up one of these objects, so we can see right. what, or examine it rather. So we found police oh, orders, 12 units. Yesterday in the middle of the night, there was an attack on a barge transporting crates of ammunition in the Port Praga area. Sent all available officers to the area. The gang most likely consisted of five people, stocky masked men of various ages. Okay, so we found that, but then Victor will... Yeah, um, but this is more, more, more like a generic one. Yeah, this was just a, right. the, the order okay. without the, the special thing on it. Mm -hmm. So I think this one will... Let's get this yeah, one here. Exactly. There we go. Victor makes an observation thanks to his um, thaumaturgic powers. So the, gen the generic... Um, yeah, superpowers, of course. So the generic pickup would uh, be the one in the black tooltip box. So register. Mm -hmm. It's where the sergeant keeps a record of all confiscated cargo. But... Because um, we have these four dimensions uh, that have uh, already been discussed, um, these thaumaturgic powers uh, are aligned each into one of these dimensions, either heart, deed, word, or mind. The, uh, each of these like represents um, a certain way uh, in which the human personality or human soul, whatever you want to call it, can be tuned. Since um, Sergeant Karash is his personality is more in line with the word dimension. We have this um, sort of grayish blue tooltip down here. And um, because Victor is, our Victor specifically, is skilled uh, in, the word dim er, yeah, in the word dimension, we are able to pick up on these traces left by Sergeant Karash. So these traces here read, a heavy cloud of words hang over the register. The whisper of failure, of the humiliation one will suffer when standing eye to eye with the superior, and of the need to stifle these fears deep inside so that none of the subordinates find out they're all screwed. This is something that Victor was able to decipher from the object. It was an emotional trace left by Sergeant Karash, and this is how these supernatural powers will help Victor um, with his inquiries, with his detective work, if you want to call it that. And by picking up on these, Victor will be able to piece together a whole picture. And you know, information is power, right? As we will soon find out. I would love to have this kind of superpowers in the real life, but I'm not sure if I will, you know, use them in goodwill. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, maybe it's better that we don't. Okay, I can read that yeah. as well. Constable. Sure. The constable hails from Provisle. He could tell Karash that searching Riverbank is pointless. We can use that. Let's draw a conclusion okay. from it. Yeah, uh, and uh, worth to mention that because we get enough uh, clues, we can now draw a conclusion. What is happening uh, here? Uh, I will read this one. 
uh, the search on the bank. Uh, because of Karash's stubbornness, the police will keep blocking access to the riverbank until the end of the world and <laughs> a day longer, looking for something that isn't there. I wonder what would have what would have happened if the surgeon had simply asked for help. And because we did that, oh yeah, hello, Veles. Uh, we enabled manipulation on Sergeant Karash. We can manipulate him to doing well, pretty much what we want. And we want him out of here. Uh, maybe it's a good time, or what you think, to uh, show them a bit more about salutors. Sure, let's do that. Because you, you already mentioned dimensions, so it's good time here to actually are. show. Yes. Yeah. So each of our salutors here in the game, uh, right now we have four unlocked, but there are more. But that's for you to find out on your own. Um, each of the salutors is tied to one of the dimensions. So we have so far collected Upir, Lelek, Bukavac, and Veles. That's going from top to bottom. And uh, yep. each of them, as you can see by the color and icon, are connected to one of the four dimensions. So Upir is heart, Lelek is mind, Bukavac is deed, and Veles is word. Right. Mm -hmm. So as I already said earlier, uh, Karash appears to be in line with the word dimension more than any of the others. So this is why Veles will be the best Veles one. And that's why Veles appeared to help us manipulate him, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, these manipulations, they will often require that you invest into one of these dimensions uh, to a certain level. You can see mm -hmm. un right under the grimoire to the left, you can see the icons of the and the, uh, and the level of our dimension at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. And we actually have a point that we can use now to uh, invest in one of the... Oh, maybe not. Because I see that since we have... Uh, we are quite developed, developed quite, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and now requires two points. So we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. However, okay. every one of these... Um, developments will unlock some sort of a benefit for us. So the first two will add to our, uh, to the strength of our dimension alignment here, yeah. However, uh, subsequent ones, as you can see, they will add to our, um, if you show us the skills, the ones after the Salutor portraits. Yep. Uh, yeah, those ones here. So each subsequent um, development, they will unlock modifiers that we can add to our skills. So this really lets you Customize the way you fight, both with Victor and with um, how it synergizes with your Salutor skills. So, well, yeah, yeah, like you said, why don't we take a look at this? Oh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I, I just wanted to add one thing here. We we won't go like very deep into the fi fighting and uh, what those upgrades do. This is something that you can figure out on your own. But there's a many ways uh, as. Uh, in how you can develop your victor when it comes to combat. Uh, but yeah, you said that uh, you wanted this, yeah? That's to show uh, salutors. Did I get it right? Yeah, so as, um, as was previously teased, each of the salutors is uh, inspiration for them is drawn from mythology. So if any of our viewers are familiar with, for instance, uh, Balkan mythology, we'll know that uh, the Bukavac is inspired by a monster hailing from one very specific region of Serbia, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one for instance. Uh, Uper specifically is the ghost of a deceased Polish noble, but you can find out more about him in the game. Maybe let's just show off the last two of them. Which one is your favorite, by the way? Uh, yeah, Lelek is my favorite, and I know that this is like, just look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. He's cute, but he's a little too goofy for me. I think I prefer Upper. Upper? Yeah. I don't know. He's just the OG, you know? I think he was one of the first Salutors that we developed. So, yeah. Yeah. I would say that I, I'd go with him. Bukabat oh. is great too, but he's kind of too creepy for me. Well, yeah, he's something <laughs> like straight from the nightmare. That's true. That's true. Yeah, but Veles is also really cool. Just a snake man. It's a good color combo too, purple and gold. Yeah. All right. So okay, maybe we can head back now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were supposed to manipulate Sergeant Karash. I completely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> the police are conducting an operation in this vicinity. Nothing to see here. 
Okay, and because we are quite developed as a character and we did our investigation, we have this option here now. So let's manipulate. I love this animation on the book. Oh yeah, it's a great well, touch. All right, I give in. We've been here since morning and nothing. Anybody got an idea of what to do, Slim? Honestly, Sergeant, I don't know what we're doing looking in for Vishla. We're conducting a large-scale investigation. Some men here and some at the port. If you ask me, ain't no point. Me, I'm from Povishla. And I'm telling you, all we're gonna find here is vodka and smokes. If the transport got nabbed at the port, we gotta search at the port. Just real intense. A concentrated operation in the most likely area? Very well. Boys, to the port! Done. Great. Let's get through and find Javier. His boat was supposed to be Malenka. All right, and here it is. Mm -hmm. So let us go there and see. This home. All right, nobody there, so we can just look around, and I will do my favorite thing again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All, All right. right. Okay. Bloodstained bandages. Sloppily thrown aside bandages bear traces of blood. And because our deed is uh, high enough, we have the bandages were wrapped around healthy, strong, uninjured hands, and we only later got soaked in blood. The blood of an opponent who got his face punched in, losing several teeth in the process. Ouch. And have you noticed that uh, when we picked that up, we got another point, I think, right? Ooh, with it, with it. Yeah, yeah, we oh. can develop oh, yeah, uh, yeah. one of Victor's skills now. Which one do you want to go with? Of course, the one that is, you know, connected For Lelek. to Lelek. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we get? Um, a skill upgrade and a dimension force. Okay, that's great. Force mind. All right. And our mind just got bumped up to six down at the bottom. Great. Yep. That's okay, a lot. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, I just, you know... Petting Lelek right now with my cursor. Uh, but let's go back to the game. <laughs> uh, all right, where were we? Okay, let's see what else is here. Uh, I will take this one. Okay, a scattered clothes. The scattered clothes suggests someone lives here. Uh, clothes, thrown from the shoulders like a ballast, lie in various nooks and crannies of the lodgings, waiting for someone to pick them up and put them on again, dirty and crumpled as they are. Whoever lives here doesn't exactly keep it speak and spam. That's one way to put it. Yeah. Okay, but I'm curious about this punching bag. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can take that one. Okay. Punching bag. A battered handmade punching bag. Looks sturdy. And because both of our dimensions are sufficient, we got one, two, one, two. Drops of sweat trickle down his head, irritated by thought. Blows fall to their rhythm. Precision, eagerness, and the readiness to improve. Improvise, sorry. The blows struck with gloves left a clear trace on the bag. It has the force of a rushing river, the unpredictability of a flood, and the joy of the first drops of spring rain. Trace unknown. Yet. No. Mm -hmm. Yet. We, we still Yet. got two more clues to go. Yeah. What have we got here? Yeah, but you can definitely start to, you know, paint the picture. Mm -hmm. Already, okay. Uh, I will get this one. Snuff box, a snuff box with cocoa leaves. It's an indispensable aid that someone can do without. One's hand is instinctively guided towards the snuff box for support before any planned physical exertion, before a fight, when one needs a vigorous boost, or in the bedroom, when the situation calls for equally vigorous stimulation. Okay, uh, I wonder what else we will find here. I don't think I want to find anything more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, bet. Sheets are strewn about currently. The sheets build traces of passion, but still traces unknown. But we have enough clues to draw a conclusion. Okay, you want to, to take this one? Sure. 
Javier's barge. Javier has created a veritable bachelor's den for himself on the barge. This is where he lives, trains hard, celebrates victories in the company of women, or has them console him after losses. It seems that his life revolves around fighting. I should look around the neighborhood for a sports club or a ring. All right, so we have our... We got a lead. Yeah. Uh, okay, sports club on a, or a ring. Looks cool, cool, like cool. trains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so I think this is everything that we can do here, so let's just go out. I told you some dingbat was snooping around. The flatfoots are gone, but I got a hunch I'm gonna have trouble with you. Interesting hunch. We're taking him to Ariel? Nah, we'll do this our way. Well, of course, we are posh guy from Śródmieście, and those are Powiślas folk, so we have to fight. Uh, right, let's start the fight. I mean, we do kind of look like easy pickings, don't we? Despite the mustache. Yeah. There's three of them, and, you know. Yeah, but, this, this fortunately, there's more to a thaumaturge than meets the eye. Yeah. I think we can take them. All right, who do you want to go with first? Uh, the guy on the left? <laughs> yes, from the left. This is my, my, my thing, actually. I always start from the left. Uh, but right. maybe this time we'll stir things up and we'll start in the middle because the guy mm -hmm. has the least focus points. But first of all, we should get rid of their traits. That's why we have few saluters from the different dimensions because also the enemies can like be tied to those di dimensions. Did, did I get that right, Robert? Maybe you can tell a bit more about this. And I will just, you know, get rid of this trait with uh, Lelek. Oh, great, Lelek again. Sure, yes, so the these um, traits, kind of like with Sergeant Karash, um, traits will, uh, I, I want to use the word stick. Uh, certain traits will stick to certain characters depending on like their personality, right? So. If somebody like Sergeant Karash, if we were to fight somebody like Sergeant Karash, if in dialogue we have such and such um, points related to a certain dimension, then in combat, you know, similarly, we would have uh, these traits uh, as well. So this guy here, he's tied most to the mind dimension. I don't know, maybe he's the smartest of the bunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> So he has the trait related to the mind uh, dimension, and therefore only Lelek can help us take it down. If we don't take it down, he will have his, the damage he receives reduced by 40%. So that's, that's a lot. important. That's a lot. You know. mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so before Lelek just get rid of this trait, I will just quick attack him, because that will cost me... Not much, but as you can see, the damage is still reduced. So when we attack him after the leg, so I will just make sure that you can see uh, up in the screen, like the, um, well, how, how, how to say, the... Oh, the, the, the turn, like, um, yeah. here, right? It display, yeah. Yeah. So right now I will use a skill that takes a bit longer. So I will make sure that I will attack after Lelek. So we will make sure that the trade is already off. Ah, trade disabled, exactly. And the guy is broken because I took all his focus. So right now I have a special attack. Yeah, strong attack. You can use it. They're very good as finishers. So Lelek will tear his face to shreds now. And he's out. Lelek MVP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we're gonna have to use a different one though for the guy on the left. Okay. Or okay. You, if you want to go for the one on the right, up to you. Mm, okay, left. <laughs> sure. All right, and this guy uh, needs Velas to get rid of his trait. Uh, what should we do now? Quick one? Yeah, just take it down as fast as possible. That would be my option. And then maybe start um, eating away at his focus with Victor's uh, middle attack. Yeah, yeah that one version. Mm hmm. Good thinking, good thinking. 
He didn't get triple damage though, unfortunately. Next time. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. All right, so I can take his whole focus right now. And then maybe send Veles to, or somebody else. Maybe, oh, maybe get Lelek and um, mm. get the one on the right's focus. Hang on, do we have anything that takes away three focus on Lelek? Check the attacks mm. and the, the values. That's two, 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 and one, I think. And one. Okay. Yeah, but two is plenty, actually. So it is, it I can. Is. What are the effects? Removes all negative states from you. We don't have any. What about the second one? This one here. Interrupts the action. Oh, if he has the suffering, he doesn't have suffering. So it doesn't really matter which one you pick. All right. So out of those I'm picking two. this one. Yeah. Go ahead. And then I need to adjust these. Oh, that's oh, right. much better. All right, let's get this guy out of the picture now. Uh, we might actually have yeah. to... Uh-huh. Hey, you know what? Uh, why don't you... Oh, Lelek is already queued up. Okay. Yeah. Listen, he'll still take plenty of damage, so... Yeah, it's the best course we can take right now. Get him. Yeah. We'll finish <laughs> him with uh, someone else. Sure. Lelek did his part already. Um, you know what? You can switch to Bukavat, because the guy has so little health that... He will, his third attack will finish him. Yeah, doom. Yep. And now Victor can uh, use his focus attack on the guy. Yes. This one yes, here, yes, diversion. Yes, 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 yes. And he'll be easy pickings on, for the next round too. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll finish him with Upir. He has a nice finisher. Or strong attack, actually. Well, yeah, why not? Why not? We are good at this, I must say. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna get healed, but don't need that. And, we, and both of those attacks will be before him, so I think we'll finish him off. Ah, yep. Awesome. Enough of this, Narishkit. Say who you are and what you're doing on my turf. Um, 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 um. Yeah, what are you gonna go with? I will be polite, Victor, for now. So okay. I'll just politely ask himself, uh, him to show himself. Sorry. It's a little crude to shove your way into someone's head without asking. You don't have the guts to look me in the eye. Ooh, a taumaturge. Yeah, just one of the um, a number of taumaturges that we can meet in Warsaw. He's actually one of my favorite characters, but I think we'll, we'll get to see uh, more of him in this quest, so maybe I won't spoil mm -hmm. it yet. Don't, don't. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get straight to business. I'm looking for a smuggler. What for? For smuggling, what else? <laughs> I need her there. Is that all? I love Upper just... I took you for someone else. Impatiently. I introduce you to happy Move his, what, what, yeah, sti sticking stick that cane or? in the ground. Yeah, cane. Yeah, okay. Welcome to Povizla. Fighting first, hugging later. Ariel Rafe. Stick with me and they won't touch a hair on your head. Just don't come on Saturdays. Welcome to the dungeon. A mecca of gambling and violence. You see the box above the ring? I'll wait there. Make yourself comfortable. Put a bet on the fight. And come find me. All right, so we are currently in the dungeon. As you can see, it's kind of the boxing ring, fighting ring. Yeah. Fight club. <laughs> fight, fight club, yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of things that we can actually examine here, but uh, I would like to go straight to Ariel. But before that, I will yeah, save the game. 
and you will see later on why we'll get back here and show you something cool uh, all right so like i said let's talk to Roja. Wretching, Ariel. His hips are fine. shouldn't you be at home right now with your husband and you what are you doing here Fausti, meet victor Sholsky. he has business with javier and he'll do anything to meet him anything anything Victor is a taumaturge. That might make for a fantastic main attraction. What do you think? Sorry. I don't like where this is going. What? Mm -hmm. A magician in the ring? Yeah. No. <laughs> Alright, but Barstuk is a pretty fun funny name to say. Barstuk. Very Polish, I must say. Oh, yeah. It's like, actually, um... Okay, maybe let's not get, a, get into the origin of that name. Curious people can find out for themselves, but... Yeah, that reminds me of another thing that a lot, uh, I've heard people saying, that thaumaturge is a difficult word. What do you think, Magda? I don't think that's true. <laughs> I, I, no, I don't think it's a, it's a hard uh, word to say, thaumaturge. Thaumaturge is a thaumaturge, and he's doing thaumaturgic things. What's hard to say about it? Barszczyk, on the other hand, can be quite difficult to pronounce for people outside of Poland, because it has a lot of sh in it. And I uh, heard a, uh, a thing about uh, Polish language that sometimes it uh, seems uh, it uh, can sound like someone is tuning a rad radio, like Yeah, rustling, right? <laughs> yeah. There is a nice word for that um, kind of a thing in Polish, that sound, szeleszczenie. You can hear it in the word. <laughs> yeah, szeleszczenie. <laughs> rustling. True. True, true, true. Uh, all right, what, the, what did they want? Ah, they want us to uh, fight in the ring. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so what are you going to do? Reproach Rofe or agree to the fight? Okay, for this one, uh, we'll agree to fight. I can fight. Fair enough. But afterward, I'm going to want to talk business with Javier. That can be done. Who am I supposed to be fighting against? Everybody. That's tradition. Ah, Everybody. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Senoras y senores, a slight change of plans. I won't be fighting. I know, I know. Barszczyk is the best. But listen. Marcel and his brothers-in-law versus a son of Shurmyrsha, a swell, a magician. Victor Shursky. Don't embarrass me. All right. We'll try. Let's do this. We don't have any upgrades, unfortunately, but that's okay. I think we can take them. I think so, too. So maybe this time we should start from the left, seeing as the guy can be taken out in a single round, maybe. Okay. In a single unfortunately round? Unfortunately, not. All right. No. Guide my hand then, because I have no idea how to do how to do this in one round. No, no, never mind. I was hoping <laughs> that it wasn't for a, a, a Bukavac um, trait, but unfortunately ah, it is, okay. and Bukavac doesn't have any focus attacks. But that's fine. If you switch to Bukavac and use Howl, the first skill, yeah, we can just give him a stack of suffering, and then maybe use exactly diversion mm -hmm. so that the guy starts getting his focus lowered. Yeah, and both of the attacks will be before them, so maybe we'll have some room to actually one more. We'll see. And boom. Uh, one. Yeah, not two. bad. Not bad, not bad. Uh, all right, so I can actually get his focus out of the way. Now that I think about it, this underground ring kind of reminds me of that one um, Sherlock scene. I don't know if you watched it. <laughs> uh, which one? Because there's oh, there a was, lot of Sherlock um, things. <laughs> that's true. There was the, the one film with um, Robert Downey Jr., right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I will just uh, switch to Upper because we didn't use him as much and he can actually... Uh, Heal us. Okay, yeah, why not? 
Let's do that. Okay, the guy is out. Just to be super, super safe, you know. Okay, and now we can just... I think he's gonna be finished anyway, but yeah. Wait, no, he won't. Sorry, my bad. No, okay. no, he won't. Give him a concussion then. All right. <laughs> yeah, but Upper will be before the final attack, so he will still be able to heal us. So all good for now, hopefully. Yep. Great. Boom. Oh, just for one. Weak. Nice. Okay. All right, uh, this guy. Oh, he has oh, Upper attack. again. Yep. Still, both of them do, so we have to do something. Okay, so Upper. So maybe um, yeah. get, he has very little focus, so maybe take it down and then and use a strong attack on him. So maybe my favorite again, Lelek, because he can take two focus points at once. But you still have to, uh, he has a trait, right? You have to do, turn it off with Upper. Ah, yes, you uh, Yeah, what is it? I okay, think it's so Upper first. Invulnerability. Can you show me his trait again? Yeah, ah, so immune to new okay. negative states, so... Okay, so let's just take it out. Mm -hmm. and, and now you can attack his focus, actually. Because... Yeah. Or no, 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 mm -hmm. wait, Victor will attack first. So maybe you want to rewind the time on that Upper attack? Exactly. And then use the fastest one, the one, the yellow one. See, it doesn't have that... Yeah, it's going to only take... It's going to happen this ah, turn. shorter. So. And oh. Mm -hmm. And this too, yeah. And the guy will be easy now to have Now we have it. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Sure. Okay, that's... Wow. Nice. Alright, so I can just take his focus. And I can... He is not in suffering, so... Maybe turn off the other guy's trait with Veles now just so he's ready to be attacked when we're finished. That's true. Okay, with the uh, fastest one, yeah? Sure, that's good. Cool. All right, guy's broken. Okay, this one is trade disabled. You can finish okay. him now however you like. Okay, so, but we don't have enough, so I will need a bit of a help. Maybe, oh, yeah, try this one. Mm -hmm. You see the damage count? Yeah, here? I do. Nice. It's, it's a great, uh, but, but it's kind of a bet too, because you can get 75, but it might be 15, right? Then again, it also but does launch an attack on an, a different random enemy, so we're going to hit two guys with one attack. Awesome. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, Veles. Okay, this guy gets it. 11, 12. Mm. And he's nice. out. Nice. Too bad this one survived. Still, I think he's just, what, one punch away? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so Okay, just not one, but two. Two. <laughs> you know you can uh, finish him off with a single Bukavac attack, right? Bukavac deals more damage the weaker an enemy is with the last one, with Doom. This one here. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah, that's true. So, yeah, this guy's getting sniped. Yeah. Right. I love this attack. It's mm -hmm. such a great animation. Nice. Good, the crowd loves you. They love of course. They you. That's <laughs> all right too. Give them time. Does Victor deserve the neighborhood's respect? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe the chicos from Fifth uh, will make yeah. means more guys to waste. Ah oh, well. You can do it, Victor. But I don't wanna. <laughs> Well, right. you can say no. You can say no, and now we can uh, tell you a bit more about Pride and how Pride works. So we are, like we said, uh, we are pretty uh, far in the story. So our Pride is already developed because earlier we were choosing Pride answers to like feel our Pride, let's say. Uh, but if you didn't do that, uh, earlier on, you wouldn't you wouldn't have that uh, that option. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's true. Also, uh, just a bit more background. Um, so in this world and in the real one too, like everybody has their flaws. So Victor's flaw happens to be pride, right? He gets he, he you could say he inherited it in a way, and 
like you said, the, the, the more you develop it, the stronger it becomes and you will be able to use it in more demanding circumstances. So not just, you know, in petty squabbles, but like in real dangerous situations, y y it, it will be available to you. But of course, like it will also, um, the fact that you indulge in a flaw will also affect your gameplay, right? Or y the way your story pans out. So you got to think carefully about that. All right, but uh, do you want to keep fighting or try to say you've had enough? What do you think? I think there's a much more fighting uh, in front of us. So if I have an option to skip it, I would just skip it. So let's try. I've had it. Okay. All right, that's it. Enough with the diversion. Let's stop business. Bueno, he's had enough. Thank you very much. Did you see him? Not such a weak chico after all. How do you feel? Mainly, I feel cheated, Senor Javier. Come on. Javier Sanchez via Conejito Ramirez. Good to meet a friend of Ariel's. Tell me, gringo, how can Javier help you today? Yeah, because we didn't know that Javier is Barszczyk and Barszczyk is Javier. So they just revealed it to us. So, well. Let's just get to the point where we are I here. Smuggler. I know, Marco. Say what you need me to smuggle. Who, one lady, needs to discreetly leave the Russian partition and get to Vienna. For how much? Very quick history lesson. The Russian partition, because in this period, um, Poland wasn't an independent country. It was split into three partitions, one in the Russian Empire, one in the Austrian Empire and one in the uh, Kingdom of Prussia, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, for uh, over 100 years there was no Poland on the map of Europe. Yeah, and Warsaw actually happened to be in the Russian uh, partition, so yes. that's kind of the background about this uh, little one line. Yeah, free history lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, but we know that Svetlana is rich, so yeah, definitely she can afford, she can it. afford yeah. it. Let's just say she's quite far up in high society. A rich chica wants to go to Vienna? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure somebody is looking for this club, though. Otherwise, she'd get on a train. Uh, I love Catch how us. they use words from it's different languages uh, in dialogues. I, I love it. I, 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 I specifically, oh, I do like that too, but I specifically like the um, Yiddish mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. interjections and uh, I, this one that was in the previous line, If you, I wonder if you can press the um, the log here in the corner. Yep, Hutzpa, I can. right? The one Ariel said. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's actually a word mm -hmm. in Polish now, like a regular one. So yes. you can see like the, the, the um, intermingling of cultures had a lasting effect on the language. All right, so what do we do now? Uh, well, we can ask what <laughs> what's, uh, we're actually going to do next. So, what's now? Now go get the lady, and we'll meet at Fort Praga at night. But tell that clafter of yours that it ain't gonna be a tea party. Adios. Okay, so we got our smugglers, so we just need to get uh, Svetlana from the hideout. But before mm -hmm. we do that, let me just uh, load a save from before uh, the this fight. This one, yeah, eight. Uh -huh. And we'll show you one uh, other cool branching in the quest, how you can approach the, uh, the dungeon. So I uh, earlier I skipped like the exploration in this place and get straight to Ariel. So let's now explore a bit this place. Use uh, taumaturgy uh, skills, but I think Ariel also mentioned that we can make a bet. So let's make a bet. Yeah. Place your bets, ladies and gents. Don't miss the chance to earn some dough. How about a bet? A little gambling never here. Place it. I'd like to bet on the fight. On Barschik or on everybody else? Mm. 
Go with Barstyk, because it's a nice sounding Barstyk? name. Barstyk? Barstyk. Yeah, we uh, now know that Barstyk is Javier, so Barstyk is our guy. I'll put a rubble on Barstyk. Corking choice. You take IOUs? Sure, why not? Get writing. All right, so we, so we put a bed, so let's now explore. But I think those ladies also will tell us something. Excuse me. Are you ladies fighting here? Yep, Bessie and Alice Gordon from Buffalo Bills. There a problem? No, not at all. I'm wondering how you ended up here. Getting even. We got a score to settle. Ugh, sure do. With Barstick. That fucker was going with me for a while. Only he didn't mention. He was dating me too. Ooh. We're gonna jog his memory. America. Not nice, Barstyk. I see. Good luck. Yeah, he, Javier is a womanizer, right? So, unsurprising. Unsurprising. Yeah. It's in his Spanish blood. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Uh, message equipment. Rolls and compresses to lift sore muscles. Long hours of messaging, stretching, rubbing ointments and warming up sore muscles are to restore proper mobility to the joints so that the dope could step in the ring and punch people it won't work this time nothing will fix it this hit transfamiliar boxing clubber okay so we're still oh, poor javier yeah the trace on the boxing gloves is the same one i found on the punching bag on the barge so What's the so conclusion? The pieces two and two. And yeah, you can take this one. Oh yeah, sure. Um, the, the, the illegal fighting star. Barstyk suffers from a serious hip injury, but that's just one of his secrets. The trace on his gloves is identical to the one I found on the barge. Javier is Barstyk, Barstyk is Javier. Rofe is trying to make me look like a fool. Okay. But we won't be a fool right now no. as we have new piece of information there will be also one new option in the dialogue shouldn't you be at home right now with your husband and you what are you doing here Barsky. meet victor Shulsky. he has business with javier and he'll do anything to meet him ah you anything, fox anything Victor is a thaumaturge. They might make for a fantastic main attraction. What do you think? Mm -mm, not Sorry. this time. What? What? A magician in the ring? Yeah. Yeah, call his bluff. Yep. Enough kidding around, Barstick. I know you are Javier. Well, you almost impressed me. Javier Sanchez via Conejito Ramirez. Now that we know you ain't just anybody, maybe you can show us if you're the real deal, or just some stiff from downtown. You getting in the ring? Nope. But as you can see, we can avoid fighting this time without the pride. So it's another option. I can see clean through you. So sometimes it's really worthwhile to go out there, explore, see what the world business. has to offer, right? Because you may just find really vital information that will help you um, okay. out of a hairy spot. Um, sure, I will just skip this dialogue uh, because we already seen it. Sure. Ask next. Adios. And we are back in the hideout and we should go to pick up Svetlana. All right, back to the Povishna, back into the mud. Yeah, let's get out of here. It's, it's getting very monotonous, all this mud. Yeah. But we have another... But another collective. Yeah, another event. sketch to make here. Yes, we have to get this. A battered and neglected instrument, but still able to produce a sweet melody. 
That's true. There's another kind of multicultural um, aspect here because the balalaika was I think, brought by uh, either the Russians or the uh, Ukrainian Cossacks possibly to Poland here. And it originally, originally came from uh, the Mongols. They brought it over to Europe. Yeah, that's another. It, it, it really was uh, uh, Warsaw at this point in time, at least, uh, a melting pot of different cult European and Asian cultures. It's actually quite incredible when you learn about it. Because there was a very stark contrast between like the societal makeup before and after World War II, because before only about like 65, I want to say, percent of society was Polish. The rest was a mix of different cultures. Whereas now it's more like 95 percent. Mm -hmm. something, something like that, yeah. Yeah, anyway, let's get back to the Nadarzyński's uh, apartment. Yeah, but I must say I'm quite impressed with your historical knowledge about Warsaw and Poland at that time. Thank you. It, it, part of it is, of course, like research we did for work specifically, but part of it is kind of is a personal interest of mine. Especially like, I want to say the history of, uh, and I mean this like in the nicest way possible, of the little people, right? Because so much history is about like the famous and the greats, whereas... Mm -hmm. Often it's the history of common people that we tend to forget, and it's what I like about our game so much is that it, um, you passed by the apartment. Yeah, I, I get past, past <laughs> it because I, I just, you know, what was so lost in uh, what, what you are saying, like right. lo lost in thought, because I wanted to hear what you what you have to say. So nice. okay. let's just wait here a bit and just finish mm -hmm. your thought, please, because that was super interesting. Yeah, like I, I just saying that. Um, it's something that I wish we didn't overlook that often, the history of just, you know, everyday common people like you and I. Because it's very interesting if you get, like, into the nitty-gritty details of everyday life. Like, uh, st stupid examples. Um, but one thing I remember that's not related specifically to the game, but, like, um, people, like there's this stereotype of, like, the Middle Ages that, you know, women were... 100% persecuted and you know the dark ages and all that yeah but yeah. then mm -hmm, when you get mm -hmm. into like very small details you find out that hey women could actually be business owners and guild members but like on paper it was the husband but it was actually the woman running it you know things like that that you don't really learn about in school and it just humanizes history so much i love this <laughs> all right but that's an off top let's get back to the game yeah you we'll have to join us for uh, next yes. thaumaturgy uh, stream to tell us more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I I will be polite this time. My name is Viktor Shulski. Grigory Rasputin said I could find him. Ooh, here. Rasputin. I can sense he's in the drawing room. Uh, all right. Uh, you could mm -hmm. see that she mentioned Rasputin. Uh. If uh, any of you played the demo that we released some time ago uh, with the prologue of the game, you could remember that we met Rasputin there. But how did he get to Warsaw? What is he doing here? Who those people are? We won't tell you right now. You have to find on your own. We are on the quest to fetch Svetlana right now. So just remember that and you know, but he's only one of the historical characters that you get to meet in the game, so yeah. there are more. Mm -hmm. This is a big game, so yeah, there is more. You're very kind, thank you. <laughs> we did our best. You have uh, unsettling friends, truly. The Nadarzynskis are reserved and boring, unlike that uh, Grigory. What do you think of him? I don't. I'd like to leave this place now, if possible. Sure, Svetlana, let's go. We'd better get a move on. Finally, don't forget my luggage. All right, let's take her luggage. It's time. Around this end of the museum, head down. That building in front of you. The entrance is around the corner. You pick some very interesting people to work with. What's that? 
From now on, that's your problem. Entrance around the corner, right? Okay, so we are right now on in Port Praga, which is like on the other side of the river, yeah? Yeah, it's actually not too far from uh, the studio here right now. What, a 15 minute walk maybe? Yeah, something, something like, like that, that, something like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was a more, I want to say, a, industrial may not be the right word, but not a lot of uh, great living here at the time. It, it was mostly like a transport hub. A lot of um, sailors and uh, fishermen and traders, right? Something like that. True. And right now it looks completely different. The neighborhood is super nice. The apartments are super pricey. So yeah, places change. Uh, all right, let's talk to Javier. I hope you know what you're doing. Did you want a pumpkin carriage and some glass slippers, senora? Smuggling in as romantic as that. Javier, yes? I've outgrown fairy tales. I'm here to make a deal. I left that fucking chest by the door. I could barely lug it. Big as a whale's two heads. <laughs> you gonna do something or just stand here and stare? Oh, there was a lot of police at the port. Let's ask. We may have something to do with that, don't we? Mm-hmm. Maybe. <laughs> the police at the entrance had me a little concerned. Did something happen we should worry about? Esos pinches pendejos can't keep their hands to themselves. Someone fucking filched a weapons transport, and now the police are shitting themselves. They're looking high and low, even under hookers' skirts. Somos profesionales. Mm -hmm. we'll keep out of sight. And it'll be gone, Skeet. Yeah, I think we did that with Sergeant Sergeant Karash. All oh, right. well. well, let's roll with it because we can't really take it back. No saves coming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no loading this time. No. Okay, so let's ask for details. So what's the plan? What are we doing? You'll get papers. Austrian ones. Almost authentic, but don't go flashing them left and right. Then it's off to the pier and onto a boat out of the city. Then a steamship upriver. In Krakow, a transfer to a Vienna bound train. You'll be there in a few days. Solid plan See, so far. Bueno, as soon as we agree on the money. Yeah, like 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 we said earlier, she's a court, you're a noble woman, so no problem with that. Mm -hmm. I don't think we really need to discuss it even. Or if no. you want to, we can. I mean, it's always some flavor, but your call. I think it's well established that she's uh, she got money, so I think it's time yeah, to move. Going to work. Yeah, we need to get urgency is needed. <laughs> Ariel, yeah. you go to the puerto and call the little captain. La señora will get changed and we'll follow after you. Victor will come too. You'll see if anyone's following us. Что? I do what? What you pay for. Via con Dios, my friend. A guitar, Shaifella. <laughs> Yeah, they're a great duo. It's sad to see them split up. Yeah. Yeah, they are great characters. Like, most of the characters in this game, they, they're really, really well written. Uh, I'll pass the compliments to the writers when I see them later today. <laughs> please do, please do, please do. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where were we? Okay, we should go to the pier. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Ah, this, this is Svetlana. Okay, she changed. Yep, he's changed. Looks like a paper boy now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Hopefully we we'll, won't get in any trouble right now. Oh, you can see on the mini-map there um, that there's ah, another, another barber. barber. Don't tempt me, don't tempt me. No, no, no. 
no, 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 not now. <laughs> Yeah, there is plenty of opportunity to uh, customize Victor's appearance. Just maybe in a, you know, more uh, w w when our time uh, schedule is not as cramped as it is now here. Gotta when deal we with are this not first. smuggling some, some Russian yeah. woman out of Warsaw. Yeah, sure, sure. I can take that. What's going on? Karash and his people have blocked off. Yeah, the yeah. That Karash again. That was to be <laughs> in What's the plan, Mago? Well, yeah, we know Karash. I might have had something to do with this, accidentally. Mm -hmm. You just can't help yourself, can you? You made the mess. You clean it up. Astarovna, Victor. See, si, con discreción. But if something happens, we sort. Sure, I but I so. think. Where is it? But I think we can. Yeah, down there. Ah, it's here. All right, all right. Uh, I think we didn't use Ochrana ID yet. No, so we didn't. So maybe there will be option to use it here, hopefully. Would be really useful because I think there's a lot more cops here now. Little packages has to get open, and we're searching every nook and cranny of the baggage car. Good evening, Altissa. If you say so. Hang on, I recognize you. You want to appeal to my patriotic sentiments again? Was I unclear in what I thought about that? Maybe we can unclog your ears at the station. There you go. Yep. Mm. <laughs> no, no, we no, don't no. want to, <laughs> so no. to start a fight. Yeah, okay. Let's show off the Akrana ID. No, with these guys. Business. I don't have to explain to you. Oh, shit. We're close to a breakthrough, I swear. If the Ohrana are interested in the transport case... Don't worry, Sergeant. I'm here on a different case. I need to conduct two people to the pier. Could you look the other way for a moment? I'll turn a blind eye. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That was the good use of Ohrana ID. Uh-huh. Some sort of shipyard here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think we'll find any clues here. Yeah, we just need to get Svetlana out of here. Mm-hmm. We should be fine, I think. Nothing bad will happen, yes? <laughs> I mean, we'll see, right? I don't want to give anything away. Come on. Yeah, it's right here. There's Ariel. All right, let's talk with him. But the boat can't hold that. There is no choice. If God wills it, a broom can shoot. Load it up. Vamonos. There's no time. I need another word with Victor. Senora. I wanted to thank you. I don't know anyone who'd risk his life for a stranger. If there's any way I can repay you, just say the word. I don't want anything. I hope you make it safely to Vienna. I'm grateful, but I don't like being in debt. And I also believe you have the right to know. What are you guys lagging around for? Hurry up! Your father moved in the circles of people who shared his views, who would like to see Poland back on the map. Do you understand what I mean? He was a patriot. At this point, you guys don't know much about Victor's father. Uh, what their relationship look like. Uh, let's just say it's complicated, but we won't reveal much right now. So we'll just go with the first option here. But yeah, the father is quite important to the story. You want to play the game to appreciate it fully. So no spoilers for now. Yeah, mm -hmm. not for not from us. I 
didn't expect he could have gotten involved with such a lofty idea. He secretly dreamed of creating a force that would give true hope to the Polish people. One that might tilt the scales in favor of the independence fighters. Loka, quickly! He believed he didn't need a great army, just a handful of daredevils with extraordinary abilities. You getting in the boat or not? I need to go. Your father was a wonderful man, Victor. And you remind me of him a great deal. Thank you for everything. Wait, who are these people? How can I find them? I don't know. They hide in the shadows. Good luck. I trust that you'll find your grimoire, Viktor Shulski. Adieu. Keep an eye on those bequeathal papers. If there's a problem with payment, we'll reach out to you. Why are you so distrustful? When a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Ooh. Amigos. Alright, that was intense, I must say. Um, oh, wow. What, what, ca what can I say? Poor Svetlana, maybe. I don't know. Poor Barszyk. Ooh, what happened to them? Uh, we won't reveal it to you today, sadly. Again, you have to play full game to see what happened to those characters. Uh, and that's uh, pretty much everything that we have prepared for you uh, for you today. We saw combat, we saw uh, quest branching, we saw amazing visuals, we hear a lot of uh, historical facts from Robert, which is great addition to the stream. And what can I say? Let's wait until February 20th to the release of the full game. And let's enjoy Traumaturgy together then. Uh, thank you, Robert, for being here today with me. And thank you for joining us on the stream. I hope you enjoy it. And see you next time.